upgraded my test rig for the pressure sensor for the mechanical ventilator sensor and control system. So my first one was this. Uh, this is a BMP 180 that is sealed inside of this plastic box. And I attached a hose, which allowed me to test whether if it could register whether I was inhaling or exhaling. And then I had wires that went to a, to an, an Arduino. And this worked fairly well. If I in, inhaled, it increased the pressure inside there and I was able to register that I was inhaling. And then if I exhaled, it produced a vacuum inside the, the box and I was able to register that I was um, I was uh, trying to inhale. The, the problem is that this design clearly is no good because it, it's just filling this box up with carbon dioxide and you just can't breathe. And so I've worked on a new rig that uses a pitot tube. Um, and so these are some syringe needles. Uh, and I, I bent one and then kept the other straight. It's a little hard to see because there's some condensation in here. But this one is bent and then this one is straight. Let's see if I can see it from the end. You might be able to see that little, the, the bent tube there. And then these are just hot glued onto some, um, these, this is a two pressure sensors, the same ones. This is the, this one happens to be the BME 280s. So they're a little bit newer than, than the one I was using yesterday. And uh, I have this just simply reporting to a serial monitor here. And uh, so as you can see here, this, this first column is showing the, uh, the first pressure sensor. And then this is different from the ambient from when I booted. Uh, we're gonna have a little bit of drift here. This is the second sensor. And then um, this is also different from the ambient. And then this third column is a difference between the two pressure gauges. This will allow us to calculate the speed. And then finally, we've got the, whether it's, um, whether I'm inhaling, exhaling, or not breathing. And so I'm gonna, See if I can do this without unplugging it. That was me exhaling. I'll do that one more time. And then this is me inhaling. So it is working uh, up to this point. And if you if you watch this column, you can see um, it's gonna it's gonna rise. The difference is gonna difference is going to increase. I'm gonna blow really hard. And so you can see that the increase is, is very large. Um, so that, that's going to allow us to calculate the, uh, the, the air speed and ultimately figure out um, the, the, uh, the tidal volume and, um, and pressures. Uh, anyways, this is just the, this latest update. I will update, update you more when I proceed.